Well, actually, coming from Iraq, uh, we found that this will be a very good opportunity uh, to transfer what the people of Iraq, and especially the Christians in Iraq, are suffering nowadays. Uh, well, we have our own problems. The topics that were discussed in the Synod, most of them were not so common in Iraq, but we have our own, like uh, emigration due to the sufferings of the conditions that are now in the country, especially during the last three months when the ISIS groups, terrorist groups, attacked Iraq and 100,000 people of Christian villages left their homes uh, and were forced either to convert to Islam or pay some levy or leave. So this led to a, a flow of of thousands of people, of Christians, to, uh, to neighboring countries because of such conditions. Well, they were like, um, um, they expressed their joy and, uh, um, and their awe to, to be able to listen to us and uh, they all congratulated us for, their, um, for our like staying there and still conveying the Christian faith in spite of all these adverse conditions. So um, it was quite a good response and we we're happy of this response. Well, it was uh, reviewing the relatio, and uh, until this moment, it's under final uh, review. And, uh, you know, we are waiting for the uh, final announcement next Saturday. So there were a lot of comments. Uh, we were in a group of bishops coming from four continents, Asia, Africa, Europe, and uh, the United States, and uh, five auditors joining the group. And they voted for many comments, and it will be released next Saturday, collecting all the comments from other groups also. Exactly. If, if I can may add, it was very good to notice that every comment was taken into consideration. They, they tried to be comp comprehensive, and, and uh, there were special acknowledgments to the group's intervention, to the auditor's intervention. That, I think this was very positive. For me, I was surprised of the very high rate of divorce that was introduced by some of the bishops in their countries. Like after five years, 60% of the couples, they decide to divorce. This is not the case in our country. Actually, although we are uh, among a Muslim community where divorce is almost, uh, it is uh, normal the norm. for them, but we are not affected and there are negligible cases of divorce in our country. So this is what surprised me compared to other countries like Africa.